from the Penn Libraries. I'm Heather Sharkey, a historian in the Department of Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations, and I'm writing a book right now on the history of changing relations and changing social expectations among Muslims, Christians, and Jews in the modern Middle East with a focus on the Ottoman Empire. And I'm interested in studying how both uh, the Ottoman state and successor states in the Middle East related to people as members of religious community and how religious community remained important and in other ways became less important during the modern period as notions of citizenship started to evolve. And in fact, my collaborations with librarians in the Penn Libraries have, has had, uh, have had a decisive impact on this project because it was while working with Arthur Kieran, the Judaica librarian, William Kopicki, the former Islamic Studies bibliographer who, who left Penn to work for the Library of Congress, and the Religious Studies bibliographer, that we developed a website together, a kind of research portal that enabled me to teach a class on the history of Muslim, Christian, and Jewish relations in the Middle East. And I should even back up a little bit more and say that the reason that I offered this class in the first place was not because I thought I was going to start writing a book on this subject or because I knew that this was my particular research agenda, but because I was responding to the interest of students, the students I was advising and meeting in classes. And I got the sense that Penn students, especially undergraduates, were keenly interested in some of these issues of Muslim Jewish and um, Muslim Christian and Christian Jewish relations. And so I started offering this class we developed the website to go along with it, a kind of research portal, and it was at that stage, after I'd been teaching it for a couple of years, while using the library resources, that a publisher approached me and asked me to write the book. The University of Pennsylvania does not have one library. It has libraries, and that's why you see on the site, it will say Penn Libraries. We've got tremendous resources. They're scattered in different places around campus. A lot of the materials relevant to my research are in Van Pelt um, Library, but in fact, we have materials in the University Museum Library, in the Center for Advanced Judaic Studies, which is you know, down by Fourth and Walnut across town in Philadelphia, and elsewhere in different libraries uh, uh, across the campus, as well as materials that are now in storage. And so what the librarians helped me to do in creating this research portal that went along with my class was to find a way to create a site that would help researchers to conduct research according to certain terms that were relevant to the area with geographic focus and so on, so that students and, and researchers ranging from undergraduates to PhD candidates would be able to conduct research and pull together materials scattered throughout the Penn libraries. So that's, that's how the idea came around. And also, I mean, what the, the um, project enabled us to do was also to realize some of uh, how we could use some of the um, rare material, rare uh, books and manuscripts and other assorted materials scattered throughout the Penn collections, including, for example, a recent acquisition of photographs of the Holy Land. When I teach this class on Muslim, Christian, and Jewish relations, we always organize one field trip to the Center for Advanced Judaic Studies, the CATS Center for Advanced Judaic Studies across town. And we go there, and Arthur Kieran, the Judaica librarian, hosts us for a tour of the inner chamber, which holds some of the really cool, rare materials that are there. And then Arthur, you know, according to the time constraints and whatnot, will show us some materials, including some of the photographs from this collection. What's so interesting about, about this collection is that it spans the history of photography from the, the early 19th century um, past the formation and the emergence of the State of Israel in 1948. And through studying this one region, we can see the history of this technology evolving, this artistic medium, this medium of communications. And the reason we can see it so well with regard to a place like the Holy Land is because the Holy Land was incredibly prestigious. And people went there and photographed it to a degree and with a level of intensity that one does not see for many places in this world. 
And so that's why it ends up being a really cool social laboratory for studying the development of photography. What happens is we don't actually use the materials in class. What actually happens is that towards the end of the semester, students devise original research and independent research topics that culminate in um, final research projects. And it's at that stage that students, having, been, uh, having visited the libraries, having spoken to some of the librarians, having gone through a lot of the material over the course of the uh, semester, can devise their own research topics and then use the Penn libraries to the best possible degree that they can. And what I'm really proud about, uh, about being at Penn and participating in a venture like this one, is that the librarians and Penn libraries and the University of Pennsylvania as a whole really values student research on the part of both undergraduate and graduate students with the result that several of the students who have written research papers in this class, as in my other classes, have gone on to publish their research in undergraduate journals, some of them based at Penn, others published at other American research institutions, or in professional journals in Middle East studies. I like to think, and I tell my students this, that at Penn we're not only consumers of knowledge, but producers. We're not only reading stuff that great thinkers wrote, but we're helping to pull together information in new ways, to come up with new ideas, to assemble articles and books and other research projects that other people in the world beyond will be consulting for years to come as well.